I am Sandosh Gaidankar. Today's concept is about a slider crank mechanism when the three forces act over the slider crank mechanism. AB is 300 mm. It is one of the toughest problems I am solving in. AB is 300 mm. I will consider the scale. 1 cm is equal to 100 mm. Forty-five degree. The crank is about forty-five. Three centimeter. Three centimeter. Forty-five. This is a. This is B. The BC is 600 mm, that is 6 cm. Now this is the C, it is nothing but piston here, I will construct a piston here, C, this is the fixed one, where the piston slide, and now BD is nothing but 200 mm, that is from B to D, it should be 2 cm. Two centimeter. Two centimeter. Again, from A to E, two centimeter. Here, the force will act at an angle of sixty degree. We will consider a sixty degree angle. Sixty degree. The force is acting here. Where Q is nothing but eight hundred Newton. Here the force will act at an angle of fifty degree. This direction, fifty degree. That's fifty. Take one more paper. Fifty. Fifty degree. Here is sixty degree. The S is nothing but thousand newton. It is one of the toughest problem I am solving here. Now the first portion is completed here, and one more force act here over the piston. That is. P is equal to 2000 Newton. Now I will consider this first part. I will draw this one, free body diagram of this one piston. First one, piston I will draw. Next, here the force is acting here over the piston, P is equal to 2000 Newton. Before this one go for naming, link 1, link 2, link 2, link 3, this is the link 4. Go for the forces, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4. That means 2 link pushes to the 3 and 3 will push the piston. 
now you know that this link is going to push this piston draw exactly parallel to link over here but we don't know the vector direction we will know that the link is pushing to this direction as in the case of the piston always the force act in the horizontal perpendicular to this one a line will be acting perpendicular to this one but we don't know the vector representation in order to obtain the vector representation you have to draw the force polygon concept therefore first you have to consider scale for this diagram scale is nothing but 1 cm is equal to 200 newton i know this force 200 newton exactly parallel i will draw a 10 cm I know this one because 2000 Newton P is nothing but 2000 Newton now exactly parallel to this link I will draw a line but I don't know the length here I'll just draw a line next exactly parallel to this one I will draw a line to end point of this one now what is the link here the name of this link is F34 and this one F14. Now, if the arrow is here, the next arrow should be here. Or one more arrow should be here. That's what we call as a force polygon. And this link is F34. If you measure it, if you measure it, you will obtain 10.7. 10.7. Centimeter into 2000 Newton, you will get around 2140 Newton. The force will be, you will get. That means the force will act in this direction. One more in this direction. Next, this is the part one. I have completed over this one. I will go for connecting rod. This part. Draw a line exactly parallel to this one. You have to construct here. Draw a line here of six centimeter. Six. Now we know that exactly opposite direction the force will act here. That is F43. And this is nothing but this is the B. We don't know the force here because there are two force act here. One is known, one more is known here. The two force act. We have to find out the the force which act over this link. We are going to find out. We are going to find out the link, the force over this link. That means F23 we are going to find out. Now, from to B2, it is a 2 cm, mark it 2 cm, 60 degree, go for 60 degree, Sixty. this is the force, one is known, this the value for this one is nothing but 2140 Newton, because F34 is equal to F43. Now Q is nothing but 2000, sorry, 800 Newton. We know the two forces here. Now this and this. First go for the scaling. Scale. Scale. 1 centimeter is equal to 200 Newton. Newton that means 10.7 first you are taking this force 10.7 exactly parallel to this one draw a line of 10.7 
sorry. Ten point seven seven. Yeah, this is seven. Ten point seven. Direction is known here. It is f four three is nothing but two one four zero newton. Now one more force is known, but for this one eight newton is nothing but four centimeter. Draw a line of four centimeter at the end of this one. It should be four centimeter. If I count it, it should be four. This is the four. The direction is known here. The first direction is known here. We are drawn it. Second direction, we know it. We are drawn it. Now, easy to find the third direction by dotted line. Join this this one. Or a complete line. And the direction, as the force polygon says that if the link direction of vector is here, the other will be here. The next will be definitely here. And this is nothing but f two three. The value for this one is nothing but thirteen point two into newton. You will get two six four zero newton. Now we know that we obtain the direction. Just repeat out this portion, and you will get the direction of this one. This complete the first diagram. Sorry, second diagram. Just move this one in this way. Locked in vector representation for f two three in this direction. It is now f two three. F two three. We obtained the f two three now. We'll go for the this portion, the crank portion. We are going for solving the crank portion now. First, I will consider now. No, directly I will go for solving this crank portion in order to avoid the number of pages. <coughs> We know that two forces are acting now. Okay, let it. Play. I will solve it. No problem. First, I will consider here. I will go for second paper. Best. Again, I will construct this part. Crank part. A point is there. Forty-five degree. Forty-five. Three centimeter. Three centimeter. Now, this force is unknown here. Unknown force. We have to find out this one. F two three. Already one one more force. We have got it. This is the force. We have got it. Just move it parallelly, exactly parallelly here. Transfer it here. Move it here exactly parallel, but in opposite direction. Now we have transferred it here. But in opposite direction, the force will be here. Yf, three two. In opposite direction. Now, as per the problem, the one more force act here. From A to B is two centimeter. I have drawn a two centimeter here. Now I will move it here parallel. This is fifty centimeter. I will draw a line of fifty centimeter. Fifty degree, sorry, fifty degree. S is equal to thousand newton. Now I have to find out the unknown force here. The value for this one is it is already obtained here because F two three is nothing but F three two. 
which is around 2640 newton we have obtained it here now this is we know this one is known i will consider a scale 1 cm is equal to 200 newton first i will go for drawing of this one 62 exactly parallel i will draw a line it is around 13 13.2 i will draw a line of 13.2 13.2 i will draw a line of, i have drawn the line of 13.2 next this force is acting it is phi exactly parallel i draw a line of phi now this is the loop i will draw a line of 5 mm sorry 5 cm this complete the second part yes yes is equal to 1000 newton and this is nothing but f 32 is nothing but 2640 newton we are finding the f 12 just draw a line dotted line as per the close polygon if the force if the vector represent is in this direction second will be in this the third will be definitely in this direction and this is nothing but f 23 if you measure it the value will be exactly 13.2 If you multiply with 200, the answer will be 2640. Now, how to find out the torque here? Let's play an important role. Once you get this one, just rub this portion, rub the portion, just draw the line parallel to this one. transfer it over this one the vector representation will be this one f12 now how to obtain the h just extend the line of this one this it coincide here and draw exactly line parallel to this one and perpendicular to this one here the h value obtained is 2 cm 2 cm if it is rotating in on this direction these are rotating in anti clockwise direction therefore torque has to be applied in clockwise direction now the finally we are going to find out the torque similarly if you want to go for drawing from this end this end draw a line parallel to this one we will obtain the same h h that is also 2 cm either you can go for this part or exactly parallel draw it you will get the same answer 2 cm now after doing this one the t is nothing but 2 into scale scale what we have taken it 100 cm 2 into 100 into either you can go for f23 or f12 because the both having the same answer 2640 newton just 2640 newton if you multiply it we will obtain to into 100 into 2640 it is answer will be 528000 newton mm if you divide by 1000 the answer will be 528 newton meter it is a one of the toughest problem i am santosh gaidankar Thank you very much.